Professional development requires initiative and setting purposeful goals. Many of you probably meet individually with your team members to discuss professional development and have been asked what opportunities are available to them. Maybe you, as a supervisor, are asking yourself how you can ensure you are more valuable at the end of this year than you were at the beginning. As a graduate, I can tell you the Leadership Academy is the answer for many of you with these questions. The Leadership Academy covers the three main forms of professional development, learning, connecting, and creating. The program starts with developing self-awareness. In the beginning of the program, we each had a 360 degree assessment completed by our peers on campus to identify our strengths and weaknesses. This allowed us to identify gaps to focus our learning on and establish a baseline to create our development program. For example, one weakness my 360 identified was communication. So I included in my plan podcasts, TED Talks, and literature to review on that topic. I then followed up by implementing what I had learned with my team and eliciting feedback. The Academy also provided resources from the SUNY Leadership Institute that were hugely beneficial in this process. The Academy also covered various interesting topics with expert facilitators and speakers from the RF, SUNY, and other institutions. Topics covered included ethics, the business of the RF, leveraging diversity in the workplace, and crucial conversations. Leading any business involves understanding your ethical obligation to yourself, your business, your staff, and the world. Our own Joshua Toast taught us how the ethical option is not always clear and helped raise our awareness of the situation by providing us with exercises based on real life situations to make us think how to best handle them. In the business of the RF, Keith Kaplan raised our financial intelligence to a new level because even nonprofits have to be aware of their economic engine. Dr. Carlos Medina explained in Leveraging Diversity why diversity is essential and necessary for an organization and demonstrated the direct correlation between diversity and sustaining organizational success. Joanne Humbert of RIT led us on a crucial conversation session. Public speaking is another crucial topic covered in the Academy. Every year, Chapman University conducts a poll on America's top fears. Number one is consistently public speaking, barely, barely edging out fear of heights. So the Leadership Academy has a four-month intensive program where we take a field trip to the Empire State Building and give a contemporaneous speech from the observation deck. Joking aside, the Academy does have a four-month focus on public speaking because no matter where you are in your career path, if you want to lead at some point, you'll have to speak publicly. Uh, the Leadership Academy also features a six month long mentorship program. The mentee gains a valuable role model in this program who can help assist with long-term career planning and direction, provide good advice, constructive criticism and guidance. My mentor and I met once a month for coffee and discussed various issues. She had been in my exact role previously, so I was able to gain a lot from her insights. It's a big commitment to be a mentor, someone who's taking time from their schedule and devoting it to your development. So it is vitally important that you take full advantage of that opportunity and put the effort in to make the most of it. The program also features three book reviews. The first led by Justine Gordon, who led a discussion on Steve Jobs' biography. Rose Fittiman discussed discovering your true north. And finally, I led a discussion on good to great by Jim Collins. We also did campus tours where people were able to see SUNY Maritime Simulation Center, UB's Earthquake Simulator, and attend a mock IRB meeting at UAlbany. All of these activities allow Academy participants to connect with folks from different campuses that they might otherwise never have met and also create opportunities to share knowledge and expand your network of colleagues. The program ends with each participant taking what they learned and completing a project uh, relating to their work the results of which were unveiled at graduation. If you decide to apply to the Leadership Academy, you're going to be challenged, you will be pushed out of your comfort zone, and your time is going to be stretched thin. However, at the end of the program, you'll have a much better understanding of what it takes to be a leader at the RF. You'll have developed your skills, connected with a larger network of colleagues, and you and your campus will be better off because of it. <clears throat>
And with that, I'm going to kick it over to Barbara, who's going to discuss employment at will and progressive discipline.